Hi, my friends. Welcome to the Diamond Painting Effect with Corey. I am Corey, and I'm so glad you came today. Today, I have a Timu haul that um, uh, I got part of it yesterday, and I got part of it last week, and it's just been sitting waiting to do. I have already recorded the bulk of what was in the Timu bag that was not diamond painted related. related. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do the diamond paintings now. And I'm going to tack that video on the end. If you want to see my Timu haul, you can see it. If not, you can go ahead and leave after you've saw the, seen the diamond painting stuff. Um, I, I haven't looked at this stuff yet. I just, I just know it's there, you know. And so I am going to uh, get... I'll just review real quick because this is diamond painting related. They they did have some release papers, and this looks like it. This feels very, very like very good release paper. It's thick, thick and heavy. So I I really like these, and I don't. I will have to put the prices up at the top or somewhere around here um, so that you'll know the price. Um, Okay, I'm back. I got interrupted. I'm sorry about that, and but we'll continue. Um, so I have the release papers. Um, the other things that were just real quick diamond painted related is I bought some of these bags that are uh, zip and part paper type cloth. And I thought that would be a good place for storage of some diamond paintings to keep the dust away. Okay, the first thing that I have that is diamond painting related is I got two of these. I learned my lesson. I give them away instead of keeping them. And so I got, I went ahead and got two of these. Um, this one, these are keychains. They are uh, kind of a springish theme gnomes. And I'm only going to pull out one, of course. And they are double sided. Aren't they cute? And I can't remember. I, I know I did some gnomes the other day. I don't know if they were these, the same ones or not. Maybe I have three. But, um, they're, I think they're very cute. There's, I think there's five in there. These are the drills. Um, silver, green, pinks. Uh, that looks, I think those are black. Oh, no, those are, those are, those are silver, clear. And these are kind of a grayish color, and these are orangish amber color, and we have the teardrop, uh, yellow gold color. So, I love doing these. They are so fun, and, um, I, I don't know, I, I just... What I do is I do them one color at a time and get all the drill, all of them, one color on all of them. And then I retire that color until I get out another one. Okay, then they have these lobster claws in, in with the kit. So you can put them on, make them keychains or backpack hooks uh, decoration. It comes with your basic tool kit. So, um, see if I can get that kit back in here and I am going to probably mail this today or tomorrow because I know there's a little girl that I think is going to love these. Um, so. <clears throat> okay, the rest, the other three items are canvases that are um, I believe they're all round diamond paintings. I don't know their sizes. I I, I shoot for 30 by 40s unless I know it's going to be something good in a smaller size. This one is Hummingbird. And it is a 30 by 40. And I, the drill field looks clear. I don't see any issues. The white the ones that are printed white are printed clearly. That is awesome because that was one of the colors that is hard, easily gone awry. 
They're in number order and then in alphabet order. You wouldn't think that would really make a much difference, but it sure does help when you're, you're looking for your color. So the stick is very good. And I am, I am pleased with the canvas. And these are the colors that you will see in it. And it, it, I, if I can find the opening, I'll at least let you look at them that way. I just very quickly, okay. Oh my goodness, and everything shakes. Okay, so I'm just going to go through them really quick. Green, all different kinds of green. Wow, look at that orange. That looks like fluorescent. You can use that for road construction. I wonder where that's going to go. There's a lot of it. <laughs> and there's a few more over here that are pinks and greens. So. And the, this is impossible to get back in easily. Let's see. I, I've messed it up, so that's not going to work. This is from Diana Loves Colors taught me this trick. We just put it on its side. And the, the folds are there. But I think I messed with it too much. <laughs> Let me see if the, the SN3900 is the number of the canvas and it is on the drills. The, uh, the DMC numbers are also on the drills as well as the canvas. So that means that I can not, not worry about it right now. I'll worry about that later. Here, this was a toolkit, standard toolkit with a couple of uh, baggies in it. The next diamond painting is a 30 by 40 also, and it is ladybugs. This canvas looks a little bit, hmm, it's not very vibrant or bright. But that doesn't mean anything until we look at the drills. This is a toolkit. It's a standard toolkit with a couple of baggies extra. And let's see if I can flatten this one a little bit better. And see if this will help. This one is a little stiffer than that other one was. But um, I hope the colors are brighter. The stick is really good. Number order and then alphabetical order. I love that. They're singing my, my song. Okay. The, the, it is printed clearly. It, 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 you know, there's no, it's just the colors are a little muted. It's all, the only problem with that. I thought, I thought because they because it's a muted, it wouldn't be hard, it'd be hard to see. But only because of the actual coloring. So here's the test to see. I hope that's a bright red and bright yellow. But we'll see. Okay, these are the colors. I think that'll, I think that'll, I think that'll turn out good. We got blues. See, that is a pretty color of red. Yes, I'm happy. I'm happy, happy, happy. And all these colors of greens, lots of greens. There's a purple. Look at that purple. Pretty bold purple. Um, some more reds. Yes, I think this will turn out just fine. This will, um, I'm happy. It's a little bit bright on the edge, but that does not matter. But DMC numbers are on the the 
3752, 3753. Okay, they are on here. Uh, it confused me because these were both the same color. There's two two bags of that blue, which I understand. There are a lot of that color in here. So that's the second canvas. Here we go. I don't know why. You know, if they would just put some kind of line or something where you can open these, it would just help us out just a little bit. Um... I'm excited about this one. I've never done something like this, but I looked at them and wanted to. But look at that. Isn't that pretty? I love it. I love it. It's chickens. Chickens down home. Uh, my it's, it's a 30 by 40 also. The DMC number's on there, but they are in no particular order. The, the the symbols are it's all alphabetical but the troll field is clear um there are a few that are white on color but they are bold enough to be red and uh, the dmc's i don't know if i said that but the dmc's are on the canvas isn't that cute i love it i love it love 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 it this will go with Diamond Grandma. I did not know when I ordered this, but this will go with Diamond Grandma's theme this month of May. Is their theme is uh, something about having to do with the barn, and this will this will work. Okay, these are the colors. I'm going to try not to unfold them so I can get back in there really easily. Look at those colors. They are nice, nice colors. As a general rule, I do like the drills that come packaged like this. Um, with that silver, blue, silver, blue and silver line. They seem to do pretty well with not that much garbage. Um, I don't know. I haven't, I don't know, I don't think I've even done any of my diamond paintings from Tamu. But quite honestly, I think they all come from this same general places <laughs> wherever we buy them from so this canvas is a lot softer it's much softer than the other two were um, Goldilocks said this one's just right um, and there the stick is good I don't I don't think I've felt this type of canvas this soft before. It is I mean look at that. I mean it's like almost like fabric. But that's it. That's it for my diamond painting portion of my Timu haul. And uh some of this stuff is gonna be repetitive because I'll probably just just stick it in. Um and what I had already recorded as a separate video, but I I, it depends on how lengthy it is, the two together. It may be put up separate after all. I don't know. But um, right now, we're about 15 minutes into this, so maybe I'm going to have to do them separate. Uh, what a mess, huh? Thank you for joining me, Scatterbrain Corey, for the Diamond Painting Effect with Corey. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. And today, I have another Timu haul. And I will, there are diamond paintings in it, so we'll get to it and see how far we get. Um, I'm going to pull stuff out as I, you know, I'm going to grab stuff and pull it out. Um, I've got two bags. And I'm going to try to go really quickly, but I will stop if it gets too long. And we'll do a part two. So, um, so that's. Here, I'll let y'all watch me cut it and pray I'm not cutting anything inside. There we go. 
Well, um, this bag has been here for a while and I just have not gotten around to um, opening it up and pulling it out. And this looks big, like a big bag, but it, as you can see right at the bat, there's a big item in here. <laughs> Put that to the side. This is a. I, I, I think you probably see these at um, Dollar Tree or at Walmart. Uh, there, it's their storage bag with the zipper on it, and I thought this would come in handy to store some of my craft items. I've got a lot of diamond paintings, and I have a lot of stamped cross stitches and so I thought that these could fit in here it I'm going to show you this is how high it is this is the side of it and this is the you know that's how it expands out I I again I'll put the prices in here when I do the editing of the video but this <clears throat> this is uh, 56 centimeters long and 39, 39 centimeters wide and the height of this is 32 centimeters well probably 33 centimeters so so that's a, that's what this is I thought I would probably use this for the things that I don't get at very often but as you can see you can probably dot um I'm having I have a lot of problem with dust in my house even inside things because I live on a farm and it just I don't know South Texas is just dusty so I could even put diamond paintings 30 by 40s flat in here and and help keep them so keep them from the dust so that's item number one. This one is a washcloth. Um, I know that I I don't know because I bought some washcloths. Of course, all kinds of washcloths are going to pop up. This is very soft. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. That's a nice washcloth. So, yeah, I'll put the price here. I'm sure it was not much. And I'm liking it. Okay. Um, I have a feeling that this is going to poof up when I open it. Uh, this is something I got for my son. I thought it would be a nice little handy blanket in his truck that he could have. And it has a sentiment on it. And I think this blanket was like $8. If I remember correctly, watch what I put up here though. Um, and Gunther, the co-host is here. Meet Gunther. Say hi! And, um, he's going to skedaddle. This is a, that soft, fluff, fluffy, soft. The loft isn't very high. I like that. It's kind of a low, low fur. Not a, not a real big fur. So this is like a light, lightweight blanket. It's great going into summer. Uh, in South Texas. And it just has all these little sentiments. It says, I'm so proud of you. It says, I'll put a picture from the, from the website up here. It says, to my son, never forget how much I love you. And I'm not going to take you all the sweet things it says that you, you'd want to tell your wonderful son. So, oh, this, I, I might not, I might not give it to him, man. This is nice. I'm loving it. It's so soft. I don't know what the care is on that, how to take care of it as far as washing it. 
but I, I think this will be perfect for his truck. Um, he doesn't like, he likes to minimize what he has in the truck. So, and if he decides he doesn't want it on the truck, it's here when he ever gets off the truck. I bought some baggies to store diamond painting drills in. Um, so I got one, two, make sure I got them all. Okay, that, that's all I got for the, the drill, drill, for my drill, the baggies. I actually got two of these and I believe they're the same size. This one might be a little bit smaller. But it'll be it'll be basically the same thing. I don't I don't think I'll need to see that. I got these little they're just little they're for scrapbooking. I thought they were cute. I thought it was a neat idea. And you just have little 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 tiny images throughout here. I thought it was gonna be all Saturday night Saturday evening post, but apparently it's well it is. Little I don't know. The lighting's not that great. I didn't get my light hooked up. But anyway, I this is really nice for scrapbooking and all that and um Again, I don't remember how much I paid for that. I I probably won't buy any more of these simply because I don't do that much scrapbooking. So, I thought that was cute. Wanted to give it a go. See what I thought of it. And this is another... I think these are business cards I got to make floss drops with. It, it's looking like that's what this one is. And yes, it is. It's just plain business cards no notch no nothing it has a there are different textures on each side um so they are a little bit flimsier than i would like but they will do the job um i might could even cut those in half if i wanted to to use them how i wanted to use them okay um These look like the same thing. Maybe it's other kinds of business cards I wanted to try. I think, I think I'm done trying business cards and such for floss drops. I do think I have enough. This one's very flimsy, but these, I guess they all, these are more like paper. Uh, they're not even, I wouldn't even call these cardstock. But, so I got two of those because I thought they were going to be the thing. Um, I'm checking real quick. Make sure it is the same thing. Yes, I believe it is. That's the same thing. <clears throat> and there's another. These are the white ones. I, I think I got two whites and two uh, craft, craft paper. Yes. So... Okay, now we're up to uh, a, a couple of diamond painting projects. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the diamond painting stuff and do a video on those things. And go ahead and break into this one real quick. Because I know there's diamond painting stuff in this one. And the video is already getting long. So, I... I I'll do the diamond paintings in a separate video because, well, that'll just be better for you guys. And, um, I may not even post this. I don't know. <laughs> okay, make sure I'm not cutting anything. They really take this up good. It's Okay. 
Oh, I got these. These are for to put on the ends of tubes. I know most toothpaste, you don't need it anymore. But I do have medicinal ointments and stuff that do come in metal tubes. And it's just, this. I believe this will just help. And I got two of those um, for to put the tubes in there. It's for toothpaste. Um, I got some of these clips that are used for quilting, sewing, and uh, whatnot. And they are very handy clips for all kinds of things. There are... I think there's a hundred in here. I could be completely wrong on that. Um, oh, this is release paper for diamond painting. When you open up an area, you can put this release paper on it. So that 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 way, I don't I can throw away the cover and work with these if I want. And. I believe that's it for the regular stuff. Take care and I'll see you again in the next one.